Okay. As a personal injury, it's, okay. As a personal injury attorney who handles trip and fall and slip and fall cases in New York, um, one, one particular case comes to mind. Um, there were a lot of things that I did in this case to end up winning it. The things that I thought were amazing may not amaze other people. Probably the result will that the person had been with another attorney who wanted to settle their case. And ultimately, the amount of money that I got this person was close to a hundred times as much as their attorney wanted them to settle for. Literally, close to a hundred times as much. All that in was involved was a claim by the landlord that this person hadn't fallen on broken stairs that day because the stairs had been repaired and how did they know? Because they had a brand new superintendent who just came on board and that was his first job. He fixed them and he started three days before her accident and they were fixed and he came in and he testified to that too and everybody put their hands up and they said well that's sort of the end of it now what are we going to do? And I just remember looking in that super in that landlord's eyes when they were testifying and I didn't believe them. So I went to the judge and I said, you know what, judge? I made it, it's called making a motion. I said, I want their payroll tax returns. Now, getting someone's tax returns is not easy. They don't give that out. And the judge didn't want to give it to us. I convinced the judge to do what they call an in-camera re review. The judge saw the tax returns. And if the judge found something in there that proves what I say it'll prove, then I get them. I'm not telling the story for no reason. We got the payroll tax returns. He started three days later, the day after her accident, or the day of her accident. As I sit here, I don't remember which one, but I remember one thing. It was lights out for the case.